Liquid Hold, a relic of years past. This is a very old medication. I think it was from like the 80s or something like that. I just, I briefly saw on the packaging here, it's kind of difficult to make out because it's so old and worn. I'm Grant Harding. I'm a licensed pharmacist in three states and a drug pricing expert. And I like to review medications so you guys can make better, more well-informed decisions. And today I have this really old uh, cough medicine, it appears. And um, I am very excited to figure out what the heck this is, um, if it's any good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to taste this or not, but it, it's very tempting. I'll have to open it up to see what it looks like inside. Um, but wow, this is... Uh, oh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I did notice that. This is completely uh, coincidence. This is where I live, uh, in Pittsburgh. So I'm happy to see our city well represented in a classic... Uh, cough syrup. My goodness. Okay. So let's turn the camera around and figure out what the heck this is. Liquid hold. Wow. I've never heard of this before. I'm excited to get into this and see what it is. I bought this on eBay. I don't know how old it is, but we will find out together. So this is a cough suppressant and decongestion, four hour relief, calms and quiets, coughs, relieves nasal congestion. And you just see here, it's non-narcotic, non-habit forming. This shout out to the 412. These are our boys. Beecham, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is where I'm at. And I did. I, this is coincidence. I just saw this and I bought it. I didn't know it was from Pittsburgh. So non-narcotic with nasal, nasal congestion. Um, and it gives the directions here. And some warnings. Um, nothing really exciting here. Do not take with high blood pressure. That's relevant. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, oh, consistent cough, cough caused by smoking. Interesting. But the active ingredients here, uh, this is the interesting part. Dextromethorphan, we still have that today. 20 milligram is a normal dose for dextromethorphan. Phenylpropanolamine, we do not have anymore. That was taken off the market because it caused a stroke. And you can see that on full display in the warning here. And it also has alcohol, it says here, 9.5% alcohol. So, um, I mean, you can't buy this anymore. This chemical is, is banned. So let's open this up and take a look at, let's try to figure out what year this was. And I may even taste it. We'll see. I always feel so special whenever I hold something this old, you know. I mean, this was something somebody purchased at one point. Wow. Oh. There's nothing else in the box. Wow, look at this. How old was this? Okay, so I'm I'm gonna guess this was prior to 1965-ish. Pure glass. They don't make them like they used to. Bring back glass bottles in the pharmacy. So this is from Beecham Products. Couldn't find much about that company, honestly. They they're just they're, there. Seems like there's like many just you know, random uh, pharmaceutical companies back in the day, and they just pretty much did whatever they wanted. What does this say? I I swear I saw a date on here somewhere. Let me check the box again. I found a date. I found a date. It's impossible, I think, for you guys to see. But right below the barcode, there's an imprint. All right, let me move the light here. There's an imprint that either says 1933 or 1938. I'm not entirely sure what that last digit is. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. it. It's like imprinted in the box. It's not like print, if you know what I mean. So I, I think it's 1933. I think that's what we're going to roll with here today. So this is, oh my goodness, it's almost 100 years old. It'd be, what, 90... Yeah, about 90 years old. Wow. I am holding medicine 
from almost a century ago. That is just insane to me. And now this is unopened, so let's open it. Oh my gosh. How? Oh, there is no way I'm taking this. Oh, that looks so gross already. I wonder what it smells like. It still smells good. I'm not even kidding. That's If I didn't know any better, I'd say that that was perfectly fine. Hold on. Should I, like, shake this up? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Do you think that's what it was supposed to look like back in the 30s? It smells fine. It smells perfectly fine. Should I take it? A lot of folks ask me questions about stability of medications, and um, we, we really don't know because think about the practicality of it. You know, you can't wait 40 years, test something, and then put it on the market. We would never have any new meds. You know, we'd never be able to help people with uh, you know new technology. For the most part, a liquid is going to have a much lower expiration than a tablet. A solid oral dosage form is what that's called. I am not confident in this at all. The liquid is brown. Okay, where did that come from? Is it supposed to be brown? Look, it's staining the cup. It, it is a liquid, first of all. This wasn't like a, this was not a tight seal. I mean, this was just a cap that came off. And um, I, I, I do not think that this is good to take. So hang tight while I try it anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you... I'm going to do... <laughs> it's... I, I'm, I'm impressed at how it smells, by the way. This smells... It has a little bit of a wintergreen tinge to it. Oh, I sound like a sommelier. <laughs> Someone changed my profession to medication sommelier. Oh, my gosh. It looks like snot and throw up mixed together. It looks bad. But it smells great. It has a little bit, of, like I said, a little bit of a wintergreen tinge. Wow. I would have loved to have seen this bad boy in its prime. Do you think I should contact the company and ask him if it's still good? <laughs> Regarding the brown tinge, by the way, I suspect this, this vial, by the way, is it's this color for a reason. Light can also degrade medications. And you'll see um, a lot of times pharmacies those amber vials that you get at a pharmacy that's not an accident either that's to protect the medication from light um and i wonder i don't know if this is true i'm just speculating here i wonder if whatever mechanism they use to dye this glass this brown you know uv protective glass i wonder if it leached out into the liquid and made it brown and also what i want to mention about expiration is for the most part things are much are good like way longer than their expiration date but we just don't know you know it, the amount of money it would take to find an answer to how good is this chemical this many years you know up to like 30 40 50 years or whatever the amount of money it would take to figure that out i would suspect is not worth the amount of money that we would save so um that's just my opinion now in, in a reasonable circumstance where there is an emergency, yeah, a pharmacist perhaps um, could give their professional opinion on whether something is still acceptable um, because we have a pretty good idea. We just don't know.